Moonfleet. In 1757, Moonfleet is a small village along the coast of southern England. The village takes its name from a formerly prominent local family, the Mohoons. The main character is John Trenkard, an orphan who lives with his aunt, Miss Arnold. The village church includes the sexton Mr. Ratsey, and the parson Glenny, who also teaches in the village school. Elsevier Block is the landlord of the Mohoon Arms. This inn is nicknamed the Why Not? A pun on the Mohoon coat of arms, which includes a cross pall in the shape of the letter Y. Mr. Maskew, is the local magistrate, who has a daughter, Grace. Village legend tells of the notorious Colonel John Blackbeard Mohoon who is buried in the family crypt under the church. He is reputed to have stolen a diamond from King Charles I and hidden it. His ghost is said to wander at night looking for it and the mysterious lights in the churchyard are attributed to his activities. As the main part of the story opens, Block's youthful son, David, has just been killed by Maskew during a raid by the Maskew and other authorities on a smuggling boat. One night a bad storm hits the village and there is a flood. While attending the Sunday service at church, John hears strange sounds from the crypt below. He thinks it is the sound of the coffins of the Mohun family. The next day, he finds Elsevier and Ratsy against the south wall of the church. They claim to be checking for damage from the storm, but John suspects they are searching for Blackbeard's ghost. Later John finds a large sinkhole has opened in the ground by a grave. He follows the passage and finds himself in the crypt with coffins on shelves and casks on the floor. He realizes his friends are smugglers and this is their hiding place. He has to hide behind a coffin when he hears Ratsy and Elsevier coming. When they leave, they fill in the hole, inadvertently trapping him. John finds a locket in the coffin that he hid behind, it turns out to be that of Blackbeard himself, which holds a piece of paper with verses from the Bible. John eventually passes out after drinking too much of the wine while trying to quench his thirst, having not eaten or drunk for over 24 hours. Later he wakes up in the Why Not Inn, he has been rescued by Elsevier and Ratsy. When he is better, he returns to his aunt's house, but she, suspecting him of drunken behavior, throws him out. Elsevier takes him in. But when Block's lease on the Why Not comes up for renewal, Maskew bids against him in the auction and wins. Block must leave the inn and Moonfleet but plans one last smuggling venture. John feels honor bound to go with him, and sadly, says goodbye to Grace Maskew, whom he loves and has been seeing in secret, and is given his mother's prayer book by his aunt her last hope to influence John towards piety. The excisemen and Maskew are aware of the planned smuggling run but do not know exactly where it will occur. During the landing Maskew appears and is caught by the smugglers. Elsevier is bent on vengeance for his son by killing Maskew, and while the rest land the cargo and leave, he and John keep watch over Maskew. Just as Block prepares to shoot Maskew the excisemen attack. They wound John and unintentionally kill Maskew. Block carries John away to safety and they hide in some old quarries. While there, John inadvertently finds out that the verses from Blackbeard's locket contain a code that will reveal the location of his famous diamond. Once John's wound heals, he and Block decide to recover the diamond from Carisbrook Castle. After a suspenseful scene in the well where the jewel is hidden, they succeed in escaping to Holland where they try to sell it to a diamond merchant named Crispine Aldobrand. The merchant cheats them, claiming the diamond is fake. Elsevier falls for the deceit and angrily throws the diamond out of the window. John, however, knows they have been duped, and suggests they try to recover the diamond through burglary. The attempt fails and, they are arrested and sentenced to prison. John curses the merchant for his lies. John and Elsevier go to prison for life. Eventually they are separated. Then, unexpectedly, ten years later, their paths cross again. They are being transported, and board a ship. A storm blows up, and by a strong coincidence, the ship is wrecked upon Moonfleet Beach. While trying to reach the beach Elsevier helps John to safety, but is himself dragged under by the surf and drowned. John arrives where he originally started, in the Why Not? and is reunited with Ratsy. He is also reunited with Grace. 
She is now a rich young lady, having inherited her father's money. However, she is still in love with John. John tells her about the diamond and his life in prison. He regrets having lost everything, but she says, rich or not, she loves him. Then Parson Glennie visits and reveals he had received a letter from Aldobrand. The merchant, suffering a guilty conscience and in an attempt to make amends, had bequeathed the worth of the diamond to John. John gives the money to the village, and new almshouses are built, and the school and the church renovated. John marries Grace and becomes Lord of the Manor and Justice of the Peace. They have three children, including their firstborn son, Elzevir. They grow up in the sons go away to serve King George on sea and land and their daughter, too it seems, has married away. But John and Grace themselves do not leave their beloved Moonfleet ever again.